Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and we're going to talk about uh, wire HF antenna supports. Uh, this is a commercial one here. It's called a ladder lock, and these are really nice. And this is hooked to my uh, 80 meter doublet here that I've got fed with 50 foot of ladder line, and uh, I've secured it down here. I used actually used a crimp connector, flooded it with solder, then you know ran the feed line in there and heat shrinked it up. Um, and that's an option for a center support right there. You can go to your field expedient one here, which I whipped out of a, uh, a wire spool. And all I did was I just uh, wrapped that back around from here, back down and around, and used two wire ties to secure it to there. Ran it back out, and then uh, tied the WD-1A phone wire to it, as you can see it there. And that works pretty good, too. I mean, it's not too bad. You just hang it up with this cordage right here. But then I was thinking when I got home, and I said, uh, you know, I could probably make something a little bit better. So I whipped out a couple of these right here, which I had some uh, Kydex laying around. And I decided to cut it out my bandsaw and uh, punch some holes in it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put it together today. Okay, and this is the business end of the final product here. What I've done is, is I've went ahead and secured the ladder line to the holes I've drilled in that plastic support uh, with zip ties. Uh, you could use duct tape, electrical tape, masking tape, or whatever you happen to have on hand to affix it to that. And the way I set this up is, is so you would go ahead and just tie this to your ladder line and this would all be one piece that you wouldn't mess with in the field. Uh, after stripping the insulation from the ladder line, I just did a round turn around the binding posts here, or around the posts on the back side of these binding posts, and flooded it with solder. On the element side, all I've done is, is taken the elements themselves, tied bowline knots in them, stripped back a centimeter of insulation, and slid those into the binding posts to secure it. Uh, this would allow you to make band changes in the field if you felt like it without having to uh, have any specialized tools and just carry additional wire which is very light and have one feeder. Uh, you could theoretically run a fan dipole with this configuration or a multi-band dipole with two different element lengths. Uh, I prefer to bring a little tuner but this isn't to say that you couldn't do so if you chose to. Um, I hope this helps everybody out here and gives somebody some food for thought. Um, and this is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.